This is Pre-Calc 11, Chapter 7.6. Now we're going to look at applications of rational equations. When dealing with the applications, we always want the unknown to be the rational expression. For example, we want to find time in a distance problem. Then we want t equals d over v. So this is our rational expression. On the other hand, if we need to find velocity, then we use v is equal to d over t. So this is our rational expression. And recall the other formulas that we used in chapter 7.4, these ones. And we need one more for this section, and that's percentage concentration. So, so if we add pure to a neutral mix, we can get the concentration from that. Pure hydrochloric acid is getting added to 10 liters of water. How much hydrochloric acid needs to be added for exactly a 6% concentration? So let V be the volume. of hydrochloric acid, the pure hydrochloric acid. Then we have 6, because we have 6%, equals 100, we get the 100 there, times the volume of the pure hydrochloric acid, and the volume of the pure hydrochloric acid getting added to the neutral substance, 10 liters of water. So our NPV, is d equals negative 10. We don't have to worry about this because we can't have negative volume. But we should have it there so that you can check. So 6 over 100 equals v over v plus 10. And what we can do in this situation is called cross multiplying. So we get 6v plus 10 equals 100v. And what we'd like to do is expand this side. 6v plus 60 equals 100v. So we want to move all the v's over to one side. 100 minus 6 is 94. And then we divide both sides by 94. And we can reduce this a bit. V equals, we take 2 out from the numerator and denominator. So this is 30 over 47. And that's going to be approximately 0.638 liters. And it's good because it's not the NPV. Let's look at another example. So the trick here is you need to come up with the right equation. In real life, we're not always given equations to solve. We're given problems to solve. And it's up to you to come up with the correct equation. OK, we derived an expression in chapter 7.4 for getting work done. However, we can use a simpler formula. We'll say rate equals work over time. So rate for bill is one van in 20 minutes. Because it tells you he washes a van in 20 minutes. And Jim is, we don't know what it is, but he'll wash it in J minutes. Okay, so we can do something, work equals rate of bill times time, and rate of gym times time. And we know that time is seven hours. We can convert this into minutes. This is seven times 60 minutes, so that's 420 minutes. So we have 
52. We know that's how many cars they can wash together. That's the work. 52 cars. And that's equal to 420 over 20. Okay, so we have one van in 20 minutes, 420 minutes, and divided by 20 minutes. And we have 420 minutes again, and it's just J. Okay, so our NPV is J equals zero. Our lowest common denominator is 20J. So 52 needs to get multiplied by 20J. And over 20J. Here we need to just multiply by J, 420 over 20. And we have J over J. And here we just need to multiply by 20. 20 over 20. Now we just expand. And we know the denominator is going to go away. So we have 1040J equals 420J plus 8400. Move the J's over to one side. So we have 620J equals 8400. Now we can calculate his rate. And that's 8400. 100 over 620, and that is approximately 13.5 minutes to wash a van. And it's not the NPV. Okay? Let's look at the last example. A WestJet flight from Vancouver to Toronto and back takes 9.75 hours and covers a total distance of 6,700 kilometers. The plane flies at an average speed of 690 kilometers per hour. What is the average speed of the air current? Okay, so let C be the air current. Speed, if you like. Okay, so time equals distance over velocity. T over the velocity is 690 plus C. Coming back the other way, we have D over 690 minus C. The total distance is 6,700 kilometers. So we need to divide that by two for each trip. So this is 3350 kilometers. We know our time is 9.75. So we have 33.50 over 690 plus C. And 33.50 back the other way over 690 minus C. So NPV, C equals plus or minus 690. Okay, our lowest common denominator is now 690 plus C and 690 minus C. So we need to multiply 9.75 by the LCD. And we need to multiply the 3350 by 690 minus C. And the other 3350 by 690 plus C. We need to expand all of this. This is a difference of squares. So we have 9.75 times 690 squared minus C squared. And here we have we have a plus C and a minus C. Those will cancel out. So we just have two times 
3350 times 690. So if we do minus C times this, we're going to have minus 3350C. We have plus 3350C, so they cancel out. So we're not going to put that in. So we have 690 squared minus C squared. And we're going to divide this side by 9.75. So we get 4... Six two three zero 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 divided by nine point seven five. So minus c squared is approximately four seven four one five four minus forty seven six one zero zero. So c squared is approximately 1946. So C is approximately the square root of 1946. And that's roughly 44 kilometers per hour. And that's not the NPV. That's slower than the plane flies, so that's good. And that completes this lesson.